don't know if he's going to show you very profound. a little intro yes. of the Chase Down inside. I'm not sure he's talking about Chase Down. This is the project that he's running. going to speak to him. He's also but very... I saw his fire. We started talking while I was still in the office of the red. Let's welcome the young man. The Chase Down. He needs because I think it's something worth supporting. He's, he's the person that is worth listening to. His choice of words are uh, very profound. He is Insight. This is the project that he's running. is also very inspiring. Let's welcome the Dumbo, the Chase Dumbo. Good afternoon, Excellencies. I was told I was going to speak to um, future leaders, future business moguls, and owners of industries. So I think I should regard you as Excellency. So please talk to me. This is not a church, sorry. Well, that's the third person beside you. Yeah, thank you for your excellencies. Yes. Yes. yes, so that's the point. You guys are going to be leaders, so this class is as important as your engineering classes, as the CDS is classes. Yes, as leaders, you have to get, you get platforms where you need to talk to people. So public speaking is very, very important. So Sarah, thank you so much for this opportunity. It's a rarity of a privilege. I won't take lightly. I promise not to disappoint. Okay, so the title of my presentation is Judge Um. It sounded like a Nollywood blockbuster, but because I'm a movie person, so it's normal. So, um, I believe we have an obligation as leaders to leave our audience world after every speaker. No matter what you're talking about, no matter the subject of discourse, you're meant to leave your audience world. And that's what we do at Cobra University, we're raising a new generation of leaders. So let's begin with today's title. First of all, to be a great speaker, you must understand your audience. Let's take a look at the lives of today's audiences. This has audiences, sorry, audiences are evolving every year, every minute. So if you don't really understand them, you can't really give them a wonderful presentation. So in the 20th century, let's see what our audiences now look like. How do they spend their day? That's the first question you should ask. It's a very, very key tool today. Covenant University, this is Instagram is not just a photo sharing tool. It's a platform to show your fashion, um, fashion powers and everything. Instagram is one of the major tools that our audiences today, both in CU and outside to you, they are using. So they are very, very, they are fast getting accustomed to pictures. So pictures is very, very key when you are presenting. But we still get to that. So let's see other social platforms that our audiences are. This is what. So we have Twitter, we have LinkedIn, we have Pinterest, and we have Facebook. And the statistics shows that if Facebook were a country, it would be the most populous country with a staggering 1.39 billion users. That's even bigger than China. Wow, yes. Okay. <laughs> so what can we learn from this? Twitter has taught us that we should summarize our so-called story of the gods in 140 characters. Touch this. Then Instagram taught us to compress our videos to 15 seconds Snapchat makes us tell stories in just a picture. Very, very amazing. So, I want, who here are wondering whether um, representatives from Facebook or Instagram, but that's not why I'm giving all the statistics. Why I'm giving statistics is because of, basically, we now live a life where we are used to fast out of information. People, attention span, are reducing every year. As this, yeah. That's true. This, this is a problem for nowadays. Studies have shown that the attention span of an average adult has reduced to one second lower than the goldfish. Yes, it's that serious. The goldfish has an attention span of nine seconds, and we have eight seconds, and that's quite disappointing. But what can we say? We used to, we have to get used to that. So that's the audience you now live with. So I'm not yet to talk about the cons of social media. I'm not yet. I'm not yet to unravel the next Mark Zuckerberg. So what am I yet to do today? Today, I'm here to tell you how Instagram has made it harder for you to keep your audience engaged. Sorry, I'm rushing to the slides. I hope you're getting me right. Okay. I'm here to help you give an audience that is acclimatizing to fast types of information a jaw drop. I've used this phrase or word, sorry, the English student here, for a while. So, okay, this is where I am. Thank you. I am Gambo Fin Follower Joshua. I'm privileged to see your Flick Media. We're into 
media coverage basically probably you have someone of our videos and travel services and we well, probably speak out like you guys too so nice meeting you guys from the same place okay so now back to the topic what is jaw drop jaw drop was a caption why a caption simply keeping your audience's mouth agape every time you present they should be able to say omg wow that was a wonderful presentation they should always want to call you back to hear from you and that's why i call the jaw drop effect okay i invented that word so it's quite pretended so if you want to use it. Okay, so um, let's, let's, next slide. Um, you need to give an unforgettable part presentation because, because many people will be asking, why should we give our audiences an excellent experience when I'm speaking? Because one, as a leader, you need to talk to a crowd, and I believe you owe them an amazing show. Secondly, you might have the chance to create a tipping point. For example, Obama, if you didn't give the amazing speech on yes, with the slogan, yes, we can. He wouldn't probably have been president, and the way he's revolutionizing the American industry, even though um, I don't really support some of his motives, like some of you do, but he has really changed the way people look at the world today. It's, there's a lot of equality because Martin Luther King's dream came to, came to pass. So you can create a tipping point when you give a wonderful presentation. And someone once said that Obama can make anything sound amazing. So beyond the formula and audience, because the whole point of the presentation is to pass the message across, but you have to create an experience. They should see presentation differently. They should see presentation from a different angle. And that's why I want all of us to live here with today. Don't just tell, don't just give a message. Create a story that people won't forget. And trust me, once you can create an experience, people definitely won't forget the message. Okay, so I'm going to give four basic steps on how to create this effect. The first one I call is the Twitter headline. Prior to now, I spent days and hours preparing this slide, and the first title of this presentation was How to Keep Your Audience's Mouths Agape After Presentation. Trust me, that was it. But well, I was watching one presentation on YouTube on how to present like Steve Jobs and everything, and this is what the word came. And probably most of you won't forget this, this caption, George of Offer Today. Sorry. So, secondly, have a message, visual presentation, and I'm sure you guys know Kiss. Keep it simple and short. For my disguise, keep it simple and engaging. So, the first one, Twitter headline. Keep an unforgettable title when you're starting a presentation. One company that is known for that is a company I really respect, is Apple Inc. When they bring out the MacBook Air, they will tell you this the thinnest laptop or notebook you can ever use with the fattest of features. When they want to bring out the iPhone, they said the phone today is going to be reinvented. When they wanted to bring out the MacBook Air, they said there is definitely something in the air, and MacBook changed everything. So you have to give a Twitter like that. The Twitter like is something that can fit into 140 characters or less, so your audiences can remember years after you've presented. So secondly, have a message. Tell a story from your heart. Don't give a speech. Have a conversation. Don't just come and lecture people. Have a conversation with them. Try and interact with your audiences. So visual presentation is very, very key. I started with Instagram, Twitter, people are used to seeing pictures. That's why most of my slides, you mostly, mostly see a picture on it. One or two pictures, okay, don't, don't follow them along, don't do a big collage, yes. Just do one picture or two pictures and it's fine. So people love seeing pictures. It really helps to aspire shape and elucidate on what you're trying to pass across. Okay, my next slide is uh, keep it simple and engaging. Let it be simple. Don't use, I know some of us are. English gurus, a lot of words and everything, but try and make it simple. Someone like, as I'm going to make this example again, Apple computers, when they're bringing um, the, the iPad, the first iPad, that's going to change everything. Normally, most tabs use stylus. Stylus, right? Stylus. But well, you know, Apple is using Apple Pencil now. But prior to then, they didn't use stylus. What, what, what they wanted to present was like, okay, if it was normal grammatical construction, it would be like, this iPad doesn't use a stylus. But Sigo was like, no stylus. So try and make the presentation is simple. So let's look at some quick role models, and most of my style uh, that we could look up to because you can't rise above the level that you understand. So what I do in public speaking is to follow people that I respect a lot. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and everything. So these are a few of my role models, which I think they should be global role models. The first on my list is, um, you all know him, Barack Obama. On the political stage, he gives a wow presentation. Secondly, he's a man that is a showman in the corporate, corporate world, and no other person that Steve Jobs. For crying out loud, they are selling computers. These have to do a lot of specs. Talk about capacity, gigabyte. I'm not really a tech person, but 
those kind of things bore me out. And this is the only guy I've watched about technology and it's so interesting. He makes it very, very simple to understand. So he's selling an iPod, he won't say this iPod has 16 gig and everything. He will tell you it's the whole world and your whole music in your pocket. That gives you a visual, visual representation. So that's, that's a role model. And our, our very own, the other person that, Dr. Mwiwa Lidaya, I've been trying to be biased and everything. I really respect him a lot. And I stop this Twitter page a lot and try to see his books and everything. So, you don't know what I said. Um, I would like to give you some book references that I've read myself and some I'm still reading. This book I've read it, I read it when I was in high school. Um, it's by Larry King. Larry King is the king of uh, communication. And the book is How to Talk to Anyone, Anytime, Anywhere. Trust me, when I read this book, I could walk up to anybody anybody, like anybody, to talk to them because I understood the principles of how to communicate effectively. Even on social platforms and everything, I know how to. So that's what you need to get it. You can get the PDF copy for free. I have it if you want it. Then, the second one is, uh, I'm still going through this one. This one has really helped me. It was by Kamine Dalo. It's uh, The Presentation Secret of Steve Jobs. Amazing book. When I was going for tech course, I read like, I'm halfway done, but it's an amazing book. Trust me. Thank you, thank you very much. One more thing. This is an iconic person here, Martin Luther King. Great speakers are artists. Artists pay attention to a lot of detail. Details like appearance, choice of words, gesticulation. Let me run through this. Appearance. When you're going to talk to kids in high school, don't intimidate them with your double breasted blazer, please. You get that every occasion suits a particular kind of person. The same thing to when you're going to pitch in front of investors, you don't go on short and check. So, the event should determine what you wear. Secondly, choice of words. You're talking to people that don't understand maybe tech and everything. Speak in simple words. Talk to people that understand, speak your vocabulary. Then get situation, try and use your hands so you can get the visual aspect of what you're talking about. So, I would love to continue this conversation with you guys on. You can hit me up on Instagram, fame.gamble. Facebook, Fing Gambo, then Twitter, Fing underscore Josh. And that's my email, fingambo.com. So if you have questions or anything, you can. I'm very, very open. So, yeah. Thank you for that presentation. That was fantastic.